So let's take a look. It says, in the diagram, O is the center of the circle and P is a point of the, on the circumference of the circle. Okay, O is the center. Very important. The center dictates a lot of things in your circle. Arc AB, that's this thing over here. It's basically saying that there is a part of the circumference joined by A and B, subtends angle AOB at the center of the circle and APB at the circumference of the circle. Okay, so odds are you're going to prove angle at the center is equal to twice angle at the circumference. It says use the diagram to prove the theorem that states that this angle over here is equal to twice APB, which is this angle at the circumference. Okay, so guys, more often than not with a proof, you're going to need to construct. So firstly, you say construct or draw We're going to be drawing radius PO produced. Okay, so draw radius PO produced to, let's say, point Q. Okay, so what that means is you join radius PO and you extend it to point Q. Okay, guys, very important for this proof. The moment you do that, radius radius, radius, they are equal to each other, okay, which means that in this triangle, these two angles are equal, and in this triangle, these two angles are equal because of isosceles triangle, okay. So once you've done that, you can now start working. On the left-hand side, I have this angle, Q, O, A, okay, and that is equal to the sum of these two angles, Y, exterior angle of a triangle. So, if I say QOA is equal to OAP plus APO. Why? Because exterior angle of a triangle. Okay. Then you can say, but OAP is equal to APO. Why? They are angles opposite equal radii. Okay. Very important. These are these two angles over here, these ones in green that I've highlighted. Okay which means that QOA is equal to two times APO. Okay, so we've established that this angle over here, this exterior angle, is equal to two times that angle. So now we do the same thing for the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Skis. P, B, this is O at the center, and this is Q that we've extended to. This angle over here, QOB, is equal to OPB. Similarly, QOB, which is the angle outside the triangle, is equal to O. Let me just double check. O, P, B. P, B plus P, B, O. Exterior angle of a triangle. Okay. But the same reasoning, O, P, B, is equal to P, B, O. Why? Because they are angles opposite equal radii. Okay, therefore angle QOB, which is that exterior angle of the triangle but also half of the angle at the center, is equal to twice, I think we're looking for OPB. Okay, so these here, 
are very important pieces of information because we've now established that over here we've got this angle that is twice that angle on the circumference and this angle that is twice that angle on the circumference. So if we add these angles together, we get the angle at the center. So, therefore, QOA plus QOB is equal to 2APO, which is what we proved over here, plus 2OPB, which is what we proved over there. And so, these two angles that add up to each other are going to give us that angle AOB. Therefore, AOB is equal to 2 times APO plus OPB. Now, if you look over here, APO is this green angle here, plus OPB. If I add them together, I get that whole angle at the circumference, which is that APB. Equal to 2 times angle APB. Okay. That is exactly what we are required to prove. AOB is equal to twice APB. So remember guys, the first thing you need to do is draw in this extended radius. The moment you do that, you split angles and you're allowed to start working with them. And you established isosceles triangles that help you with those base angles. Okay, so guys, with your proofs, remember there will always be a construction when you have to prove that line parallel to one side of a triangle divides them in proportion. You know you're going to have to join lines and draw in and use those base area forms. Okay.